And this is a boomerang, obviously, version. Again, with the idea of putting a camera on here. So this is like a model of a design. And I wanna show you guys how to make this. So we're gonna start with a piece of paper and we're going to fold it in half, hot dog bun style. And the better you line up the corners, the better it's going to work. And you can get some scissors, or you can do what I like to do, which is just get a little, like a ketchup packet, like a little tear at the top up there, and then you're gonna pull apart and down at the same time. It makes a really nice, neat, cut down there and you've got two so we're gonna put one off to the side for later and with this one I'm going to again fold it hot dog bun style and then open it up. now I'm gonna take this so it looks kind of like a, like a really wide mouth <laughs> hello I'm gonna take the bottom of the mouth to bring it up almost touching the middle crease there. And I'm gonna do the same thing to the top. I find it easier if I spin it around and like this up to, again, almost touching that middle crease. Now I'm gonna stand it up tall and skinny and I'm gonna bring the top and the bottom together. And if you find your paper crinkles, I like to just put my finger in there and just pull it down. And that helps to straighten it out. And then I've got what looks like an A, capital A, uppercase A. And with that fold on the top, I'm gonna to take this corner and like a um, paper airplane, I'm gonna fold that corner down. And then I'm gonna take the same fold that I just did and go the other way with it. And this time I'm folding on the back side. And then I'm gonna bring it back again and go forward again. And I'm creating a hinge like on a door. So I've got my hinge going both directions here. That one's good. Now, same thing on the other corner. I'm trying to keep my paper lined up here. I'm gonna push down really hard on that crease and then take the same corner and then fold the other way. Crease it down and then back and forth with that one. I got the hinge going there. Now I'm gonna open it tall and skinny again. I'm gonna go to this right side here and I'm gonna open it down. Now I see, what shape is that? Diamond. I'm gonna go behind the diamond. I'm gonna push it up and in. Just push in the center of the diamond till I can get a, a handle on it. Okay, so all I did was I just pushed the diamond in. And now I'm gonna take that and I'm going to make sure this top part is actually folded back down again. I'm gonna take that diamond that I folded and push it up and fold it right on so it makes an interesting angle there. And then I'm gonna bring it across so it looks like this. And then I'm gonna take this corner and bring it down. Okay. That was the trickiest part. With one more kind of tricky part, and that is I'm gonna turn this to a backwards seven, 
and I'm going to take the side here and fold it down. And then I'm gonna open up this this part of the top of the backward seven here. And this is a pretty neat trick. You can take this top and I'm going to put the top down under here in this pocket. And the way you do it is you push down in there. So that might be tricky. I'll show you that one more time. We have it like this, right? So I'm going to open the lower part at the top here. And I'm going to slip the top down in there and just kind of push it down in and it slides into place. And then that was the hard part. Now, for the last two things, I'm going to do a little cheat. <laughs> uh, in origami, you're not supposed to use glue, but this is so much easier this way. So, going back to my L shape here, at the top of the L, I'm going to open this part up and I'm going to make a little uh, airplane corner again. And then the same on the other side, airplane corner again. And then I'm just going to put some glue on the inside of one side and lock it down. And do the same on this corner. So again, I'm going to open up the top, fold like an airplane. cheat <laughs> with the glue. Oops. And lock it down. And that's it. Now, when you throw it, um, one side is kind of like the opening of the mouth and you don't want to throw it that way because it'll, uh, it'll open. Um, you don't want to throw it that way. You want to throw the other edge. You want to throw it. So the folded edge, not the one that was open, but the folded edge is the part that cuts through the air, right? So this is folded and this is folded and you're going to hold it in your hand like a V if you're right-handed, or you're gonna hold it like a backwards L when you throw it and flick it really fast. Since this boomerang is really like a helicopter with a camera on it, just like the Ingenuity, I'm gonna flip it over and I'm just gonna draw, uh, let's call that the center there. I can do better than this. I'm just kind of rushing it here. So there's my camera. And this is going to help me remember when I throw it, I want the camera looking down at the ground so it can take picture from high in the sky. So I'm going to flip it over. Now every time I pick it up, it's going to help me remember camera looks down. And then, whoosh, whoosh, pretty cool.